you're gonna learn to build super cool skyboxes in Fortnite. Hooray! So what is a skybox? It's usually used in the background to make things look pretty. Fortnite uses them and a bajillion other games use them as well. I've got a brand new project and what we're gonna do is create a skybox for this very ugly world. And I'm gonna show you one of two ways, one which is really cool and one which is a little more basic. So if you go to Sketchfab, you can actually type in the search bar, go to downloadable, and you can type in skybox. And you're gonna see a bunch of skyboxes on here, some of them made with AI, and some of them are free. And some of these are gonna come with a mesh. So I'm gonna click this nice beach scene here, and you're gonna see that I can look around, right? It's, it's a mesh. So let's go ahead and download this because it's free. I'm gonna download the FBX. And because it's an FBX, we're gonna get the source and the textures. So if I bring in this source here, I'm gonna rename this to Skybox, drag it into my project, you're gonna see it imports like a normal mesh. And if I zoom out and drag this in here, uh, look at this, this is just a sphere, that's all this is. So this artist has taken a sphere and put an image on it, which is not what we want, actually. It's not what we need for Unreal Engine, okay? It gave me a material, 360 plane, and if I open the material, and I grab the texture and drag it in here. And if I connect this to, let's say, base color and apply, you're gonna see this. You're like, what the heck? This doesn't make any sense because this is not what we need, okay? But you could work with this. So what I could do is I could go to modeling mode with my mesh selected, go to attributes, click normals. And then what I could do is invert normals like so and click accept. And now if I go inside the sphere, it looks a little more like a skybox, but here's the deal. This is taking shadows, it's not lit properly, and it does not look like a skybox. It looks ugly. This is not how you do it. And I know a lot of new people do it this way and they're frustrated. So we're gonna show you the right way to do this. So I'm gonna show you a cool tip how you can turn this texture into an actual skybox, okay? So I'm gonna delete the texture, delete the skybox mesh, and delete the material. We can do something nifty here with the NVIDIA Texture Tools Exporter. You can go ahead and download this. It's free. And this is gonna allow us to create an HDR, something that we can actually use for a skybox. So we've downloaded the Sunny Day at the Beach texture, which is a JPEG. That is not a skybox, okay? So what we're gonna do is open up the Texture Tools Exporter, and what we're gonna do is grab our texture and just drag it here into this program. That's all you have to do. Then we're gonna click Save As, and where it says Save As Type, you're gonna select HDR and click Save. Now back in Unreal Engine, I'm gonna grab my Beach Skybox HDR and drag it into the project. And because it's an HDR, Unreal Engine knows to turn this into a texture cube. We need to create our own skybox mesh. Now I could use the sphere that they gave us, but I'm just gonna create one here, make it really easy for us. So I'm gonna go to modeling mode, and you could actually do this with a box, a rectangle, or a sphere. I'm just gonna choose a sphere, and I need mine really big. I'm just gonna say 15,000, like so, and it's a lot bigger now. I can't even see it, okay? So that's much bigger. So we have this sphere and I click F, I can see the whole thing here. And what I'm going to do is in my folder, I'm just gonna rename the mesh itself to Skybox Sphere, okay? Now we need a material for our Skybox. So I'm gonna right click, go to Material and Material. We're gonna call this Beach Skybox. And we're going to open it here. Now there's a few things we need to do with our Beach Skybox. First thing I'm gonna do is click two-sided. I want this to be a two-sided skybox so it works as it's supposed to work in any direction. The other thing we're going to do is we are going to click the box that says is sky, but notice how I can't click on it right now. That's because I need to change one of the settings here from default lit to unlit. And now we're gonna click is sky. The skybox should not be giving shadows, not receiving shadows. It's actually kind of a source of light itself. So. We do not want it to be a default lit, we want unlit. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna grab our texture cube, like so, and plug it in right here. And we're not gonna actually put it in the base color, we're going to plug this into emissive color. 
But notice how there's an error here, and that's because it says UVW input is required for cube map sample. So what I'm going to do is right click and search for reflection vector. Okay, and think of this like a camera is pointing at your skybox and whatever direction the camera is pointing a line, it kind of rotates that camera. It's like a simulated positioning of the world. So when you look around, it looks like you're actually in a skybox world. You'll see how it works as we actually input it here. Okay, so I'm going to drag this into UVs and you kind of get this really very bright bubbly thing here. What I'm going to do is add a, I'm going to hold down three and click for a vector constant with black on here. And that's going to make it look a little more flat. Now here's the fun part. We can just take this material and drag it onto our sphere. And if we come into here, you can now see, if I drag the sphere down a little bit, you can now see here's our world. How cool is that? We've got our own skybox. What a beautiful, beautiful skybox. And just to make it a little more pretty with contrast, let's delete these grids and add some landscape. And there we go, a day at the beach using a skybox that was just a JPEG that someone had on Sketchfab that we used. Now, this isn't exactly ideal because it's not matching our game. So how can we make this mo better? Now for this next part, if you absolutely hate AI, you better change the channel because you're about to get triggered. I feel triggered. We are gonna go to this amazing tool called Blockade Labs, where you can actually build your very own skyboxes. They have a free version and a paid version. I'm gonna to go to Conjure Your World. Down here in the bar, you can type in what you're looking for, and you can also select a style here. So if I go to, let's say, I'm gonna click Fantasy here. We're gonna say Rolling Green Hills, Magical Purple Trees, Blue Skies, and Castles in the Far Distance, and click Generate. Now, look at that very fantastical but purple is a little too purple and those trees are a little too much so i want to enhance this a little bit more we're gonna say tiny trees in far distance with purple colors blue skies i'm gonna say one castle in the far distance big open space there we go a little more wide open some castles much more like I want it. Excellent. So now all I have to do is click download. Now, if you're on the free version, it's only going to let you download probably a JPEG. But if you use the NVIDIA texture tool, you can convert it to an HDR. No big deal, right? I'm going to download HDR just because it's ready to go. Now, coming back to my project here, I'm going to go ahead and drag my Fantasy World HDR into my project. Okay. I'm going to rename this material to fantasy, open it up. And I'm just going to change the texture to my fantasy and apply. And look at this. Now, the thing about skyboxes is you can make them close with big objects or really far. You have to alter them to make it fit your world. And this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted it to look like there's things in the far distance. That's it for this video. Subscribe or he'll hurt me.